couple of weeks is AI. I've read a couple of books on AI. I've understood uh, AI from the standpoint of following Tesla and their AI. And we have this incredible AI tool that has just been launched in the form of chat GBT, which we're actually going to get into an example of it in, in just a minute, moment to like play with. But one way to think about this for chat GBT, well, there's several different things. I'm going to try to highlight the importance of this because this is going to make a massive difference. Uh, what's up guys. Thank you for the help with that. Um, if you think about, say a piano like who is it john lennon or the person one of the beatles guys who plays piano or uh anybody who's famous who plays the piano that is a tool right and to me that tool has this much value now a tool like ai to me that, that that tool has zero value to john lennon that has a shitload of value millions and millions of dollars of value same thing with the basketball, right? And Le LeBron James, the ball is a tool for LeBron James. He can use that ball to get a billion dollars. I don't know how to use that tool to get a billion dollars. AI is the tool that allows you to do all of those things. And when you think about say crypto, right? We're going to be going from three and a half percent of the world's population in crypto to 7% of the world's population crypto, to 14 in 2024, and then it's gonna double again, right? We're gonna to get to 28 by 25, um, 2025. Everything is going to be impacted by crypto or AI. Everything is gonna be doing this. And just like how that exponential curve grows, it goes from here to here to here, up, up like this. That's how AI learns. So if you think that chat GPT is great today, in 36 months from today, this is gonna look like a pleb. This is gonna look like horrible. This is gonna look not nearly as good as what's happening in the future. I wanna show you some ideas of what this is capable of doing. So let's, let's say that here that one of the things that I'm going to be working on, right, is building this tool out. Let's say that I want a, I want code, I want code that is written in Py, Python, I don't know how to spell that, in Python, that goes to an Instagram profile and looks at every one of their followers to see if they have any contact info listed on their profile and pulls that contact info and puts it into a spreadsheet, right? This is, this is the capability of this. Now, chat GPT is, what is it? Told you written, the content may violate content policies, right? So it's like, you shouldn't be doing this kind of thing, but it will literally go through and write this code out for you. It, uh, Divine Marine, what's good, bro? This is writing out the code for me to go through and start testing this out. Think about this. Do you write code? Probably not. Most people in here are probably not writing code. They're not going to be able to take this and utilize this. But maybe some people want to learn about a specific topic to invest in, right? We're talking about crypto here. You can use chat GPT for not only creating code, but consuming content, right? So, if you say want to learn about proof of stake and how proof of stake works, and you have, say there's, if you go to MCBI, that's a database that tracks, it like puts together a bunch of different 
research papers, right? So you can take these research papers. Yeah, this is crazy mm -hmm. shit, right? Divine Marine is on uh, uh, Instagram. What's up, bro? Uh, and also, who is this? Mac. Uh, I use Chappie GP often. I love it. Uh, Sam is doing right now. Okay, so now you want to you want to understand how crypto works, or how proof of stake works, or how some type of vampire attack works, right? And so you go to NCBI and you pull up a research paper, right? I could take that research paper and put it in here, like uh, explain what uh, proof of stake is and how it works in re works as it relates to baking, right? And then it's gonna go through and give you probably some analogies here on how proof of stake works and related to baking. The creator of a new block is chosen based on the product. One of the, one way that POS is implemented is through the process of baking or it's not perfect in all the things that it does, as you can see right here. So you have to have some type of understanding, but you can take your research papers, put them in here and paraphrase it for you. Because if you read research papers, sometimes the language is like shit that you don't fully understand, or there's issues um, with interpretation as in this case, right? Because then you can ask it more questions on this because the chat also learns, right? Mm -hmm. So this gives you a, a summary of what proof of stake is. I was just trying to be fancy by saying as it relates to baking. Um, but you can go through and use this for learning. Another way you can actually use this is creating content. I own a business. I sell peptides, right? And I email my customers. I also have email flow, meaning say you abandon a cart and you go to the purchase thing and you want to see what the price is with the, with the tax and with the shipping, right? So you go through that process, you put in your information, your email, and then you're like, yeah, not going to do that. Or you get a phone call or whatever. And then you stop that process. Well, then I have an abandoned cart email sequence, right? So I have email A and email B. And what I can do here is write me in abandoned cart email for BPC 157 and have it specific to the product that you had in your cart for BPC 157 with uh, one code for 25% off that lasts for 24 hours. And it will write this, dear value customer. We noticed you left some items in your cart on your website, on our website, and we want to reach out and see if, now watch what I'm gonna do in just a second here after it's done writing this email. As a special offer for you, we are providing a 25% discount code that you can use to on your abandoned cart items, right? So then you can go through and, and update this so that you feel appropriate. But what I'm gonna like, that's not really how I talk, right? So then I'm going to say, make this more cheeky, right? I'm going to put in here, make this more cheeky, right? This is kind of formal, says dear valued customer, blah, 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 blah. I said, I want this to be more cheeky. Hey there, we noticed you left some items in your cart in the website and just couldn't bear to let you go to waste. Plus, we've got a special deal for you that we think you'll love, right? This sounds way more normal. Now, the, okay, say this is sufficient for me and I'm going to update this just marginally and use this as a template for my email. Now I'm going to say, create a, uh, create 10 subject lines, whoops, lines for this email that are clickbaity. Now it's going to go through, take this email because it remembers what we're talking about and give me 10 different examples of a clickbaity subject line for my email that I can go through and now test. So I can go through and take these and start testing them in my software to see which one of these perform better. But maybe, maybe you don't, you're like, 
I don't do email marketing. I, I don't need to code anything, right? And any of the things that I read, I'm not, I'm not gonna take it and put it into software and have it regurgitate back to me some type of uh, you know, answer to it. Well, one of the ways that I used this the other day, and I, and I wanna talk about the skill of this to wrap things up, is to, I had to fill out some tax documents. And if you ever fill out tax documents, you know that mm -hmm. sometimes you're like, I don't know what this shit means. You can go through and ask chat, what does this form for the IRS or this specific state? What is it for, right? And it's gonna give you some context. And then you can ask it, hey, on form XYZ, blah, 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 what does question number four mean when it says XYZ? And it comes back with the answer. And then you can just continue to do that. Or I own rental property. Another thing, right? If you own rental property, I can say, right, the uh, residential uh, lease agreement and add a section for pets for a hundred extra, hundred extra per month if the pet is less than. 20 pounds, include a section on breaking your lease or subleasing. All right, so now it's gonna write me a lease here. And I can make this even more specific, right? It's gonna give me all this information here and write this all out for me. Now, what I can also do is say, update, this lease to be specific for the state of Florida and the county of Pinellas, right? As soon as this is done, yeah, I can press enter and it will have this lease updated to Florida and the county of Pinellas because every state and or county has different rules, has different regulations, has different things like that included in here. And so it's, it's giving you all these deals. Utilities, the tenant shall be responsible for paying all utilities used at the property, including electricity, gas, blah, 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 plus garbage, pets. The tenant, this is what I was talking about, right? The tenant may keep pet, pets at the property provided the tenant obtains written consent from the landlord and pays an additional $100 per month for each pet that is less than 20 pounds. The tenant shall be responsible for any damages caused by the pets. So this is the, the base one. And I can go through and update this, right? Hey, do this to update it for the state of Florida. And it will go through and update this for the state of Florida in Pinellas County, which is the county I live in, right? So this tool, if you are not using this tool, if you are not playing with this tool and utilizing it to get value, it is going to be similar to LeBron James in a basketball because the skill that you get from utilizing a tool to provide value is you understand how to ask questions in a manner that gets the AI to do what you want it to do. And that is similar to if 10 years ago, you had taken the time to learn how to do Facebook marketing and you could have added three zeros to your net worth. If you really dove into understanding how to utilize the tool that was Facebook marketing 10 years ago, you could be easily be making $5 million a year today. Chat GPT, and other AI like this, if you don't embrace them now, wow, it is going to be an issue because you're gonna get so much left behind. Now, if you guys like this video, let us know down below in the comments if you'd like to support the channel, go down below, check out GRC um, over there on Instagram, as well as TikTok and on Twitter, all of our links are down below. Instagram is a nice way to get a hold of us, or at least me, GRC is on Twitter more than I am. And appreciate you guys. Take a second, also share this out with other people. If you get value from this stuff, let it, let us know in the comments and take a second, share this out. 
appreciate the wealth of knowledge for ChatGPT, the next wave in along with AI. So yes, 100%. And we will talk to you guys tomorrow at 11 a.m. EST. Peace. Young folks, you tripping on them motherfucker. You already know what time it is. Crypt in the morning. Crypt in the morning. Crypt in the morning. Waiting on phone. Crypt in the morning. 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 Waiting on phone. Crypt in the morning. Crypt in the morning. Crypt in the morning. Smoking a blunt on my way to the gym. 11 a.m. and I'm ready to end. Got me some hex and I'm making a steak. Got me some hedge and I'm making it rain. Me some Maxi and that's just in case. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Jim Rider sent me to show you the way. Deep I proof. Crypt in the morning.